Hey makers, this is Dravin and this time I come up with another paid training program for Power Automate. This is completely beginner friendly program panned across 4 different weekends. The 4 days to start for my training program. This training program is starting from this Saturday means 9th of November. It's panned across 4 different weekends. Total 8 different sessions with 30 plus hours of curriculum. Every Saturday, Sunday, around four and a half hours of classes. If you wanted to know about the fee details, check the description box and there is a link for the WhatsApp in the description box. Just message us and we will send you the price detail over there. The fee is really, really affordable. So you don't need to worry about that. Now the question arises that what I'm going to cover up into this overall Power Automate training program and what are the key highlights of the course? So let me tell you, this is completely beginner friendly and it's a weekend only. This is 100% use case based training program. So we are going to talk about real life use cases, real life scenario. It is 100% practical hands on based. So we will provide you all the material for practice as well. Alright. Also after the training program, the recording will be also provided to each and every student for the practice purpose, uh, which come up with one year of validity. Along with that, it is fully interactive and all the doubts will be covered throughout this program. Along with that, we will also provide you the interview questions and sample resumes as well. So let me just walk you through the course content throughout this training program. So in the first class, we are basically start with the introduction of the Power Automate and getting started with the overall tool of Power Automate will provide you the account access and everything so that you can practice throughout the different classes. Then we will go through the second class of different kind of Power Automate flow. Here we will talk about the different kind of flow like automated cloud flow, instant cloud flow, schedule flow. Also we will talk about the key concept of the Power Automate like what is trigger, what is action, what is dynamic data, what is uh, how to check the run history of the flow, how to taste the flow, how to debug the flow. Uh, also we will talk about in real world, if you are come across with any kind of power automate requirement, how easily you can think about for designing your flow in an efficient way. We'll talk about those things in detail. Along with that real life example, use cases are obviously a part of any class. So we'll talk about those as well in depth. Then class number three is all about cloud flow basic. This is again very important base class where we will clear out all the basic concepts specifically trigger related, action related, different kind of JSON parsing technique, data operation, control actions, different kind of looping, different kind of scope variables. Uh, all these things we will talk about in depth. Along with that, in Power Automate, error handling also very important aspect like try, catch, finally, those things as well we'll talk about in detail. Then we'll talk about the Power Automate expression, how to write the expression language, how to write if condition, how you can write different kind of power effect formula, what are the commonly used power effect formula, text expression, date time expression. We'll use all the most common use expression in detail into this particular class. Then class number four is all about Cloudflow with SharePoint. Here we will talk about SharePoint data source in detail. We'll talk about the different kind of SharePoint trigger, how you can work with the complex column like in SharePoint. Specifically when you are working with SharePoint, people picker, choices, multi-select choice. These are the all the complex data type, right? Even lookup is also a complex data type. Uh, even if you have managed metadata column, how to deal with that. All those concepts we'll talk about in detail. We'll perform completely CRUD operation with the different complex data type with the SharePoint. Along with that, we'll also deal with how you can handle if you have larger data set in the SharePoint, like more than 100K or 500K uh, or maybe uh, 5000K data, how you can handle it. You can, uh, we can understand with the help of pagination inside the Power Automate. Along with that, if some action are not available in the world of SharePoint and Power Automate, how you can write your own REST API call in the Power Automate. We'll discuss that as well in depth in today's class. Then we'll talk about some more advanced concepts like environment variable, regular expression parsing in depth into fourth class. Class number fifth is all about working with Power Automate and Dataverse. 
again a very popular data source again different kind of complex data type also available how you can handle all those data types in depth we'll talk about that with that we'll also talk about how you can use filter query how you can use fetch xml we'll use some tips and tricks related dataverse and power automate in depth we'll also discuss how you can handle large data set over there we'll also talk about how you can handle with the files how you can uh, do some sort of sync mechanism between sharepoint and dataverse along with that in dataverse if you want to get the data from the different environment within the single flow how you can get it out we'll talk about all those concept in depth into this class class number 6 is all about power automate and approval again approval action is the most important action in the world of power automate we'll talk about the different kind of power automate licensing with different kind of trigger condition concurrency control degree of parallelism environment variable all these things in depth into this particular class again this class is more it advanced class and all the most related interview related stuff will be covered up into this particular class class number 7 is all about power automate gateway and on premises system most of the time when you are working with the on premise data sources gateway is the most important thing that we need to install it but what is gateway how it works what kind of installation you need to do uh, how you can connect on premise sql server how you can connect on premise file system all those concepts we will talk about in depth practically into this particular class Along with that, we will also talk about how you can create your own custom connector and how, what is connection references in the Power Automate. Class number 8 is all about Power Apps and Power Automate integration. Into this particular class, we will talk about how you can integrate your Power Apps with Power Automate. Along with that, we will also talk about how you can connect Power BI with Power Automate as well and what kind of endless use case capability you will have for your organization with this integration we will talk about those things in depth at the end we will talk about the solution export input process as well for power automate and we will also talk about sample resume preparation and some interview question related guideline throughout this class so that's pretty much it all about power automate weekend training program tell me in the comment section if you have any question or connect us on the whatsapp mentioned on the screen if you want to get full schedule on the PDF format on your email, we have form as well available in the description box. Fill out that and you will get the full details in the email format. So upskill yourself in the world of Power Automate before 2024 ends.